bit of scrap metal. Oh no, Ben. That's heavy. Up the scrappy bit there, then. Oh, is that plastic? Damn them. I won't touch the sign. <sighs> Damn. Thought there was a couple of nice bits there then. Microwave in a bin. <laughs> I'll, re I'll recycle it. Stop it going to the landfill. Should be in there anyway, should it? <laughs> I know, they put all sorts all right. of crap in there. Cheers, buddy. Good spot. Oh, no. Uh, I'm saying aluminium on that one. There's an oven here, it's a scrap. It's going to knock on the door. Oh, it looks empty. Get in. It's a bit of scrap out. I forgot. That chair for more allotment. I'll take it. Anything I can get. Copper. Yes. 
taking that. came in here on my bike ages ago and I found loads of stuff mostly cords and pots but I'm pretty sure I can drive around it you can't see it but I'm hoping for a win 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 sorry love I'm just collecting some scrap metal Man, she just looked at me like I'm some sort of alien. seen the look she just gave me did you guys see that talk about a death stare wow oh. flattered couldn't put alloys around here could they I need a flipping crowbar why are they flags? Why are they doing this to me? What else we got? What's that? Bit of alley. Brassy bits, though, be nice. Damn it. Uh, hello. <laughs> Metal's metal. I'll take it. Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Check this out. It's got aluminium.
mutant miles come up trumps. Dirty alley. Is that right? I've got no idea what I'm doing. Oh. Is that a bit of roof edge there? Is that an omen? I'm not cleaning that up for anyone asks. Let's go exactly how it is. <laughs> Bloody hell. Have you that? Up these streets. Let's do the time. Jeepers. Take a little bit of concrete on, aren't we? There you go, I cleaned up. Not happy now? <clears throat> Wish I can get them brassy bits though, there's got to be a flipping kilo or so there. Flathead screwdriver, that's what I want to know. I know it's there and you have to come back for it. Hello copper, you need to ride up front really, don't you? So you do that. You can ride up front with me. Boom. <laughs> I just saw the yellow van man again. Oh, I saw ya. I saw you, mate. I know you're watching my videos. I saw the big smile on your face as well as you just totally blanked me out. <laughs> I wonder what he's up to then. What is he doing? Oh, I need to roll over there. Right, guys, I think that's it for this one. What do we get? We got some copper goodness and some brass goodness. I presume that's white brass. We got, let's have a look in the back. We got a huge assortment of aluminum. Illuminati, dirty yellow, there's no way I'm cleaning that up. That's just going as it is. We got an oven. We got an exercising machine. We got an assortment of metal and pots. Uh, what else did we get? Is that it? Oh, oh, and a microwave. 
Good times. Very good times. Not too shabby at all. That's a lot of aluminium there. Dirty alloy. It's got to be a kilo. I mean, I mean it's dirty, but you know, it's got to be a kilo there. Just that. I think there's about 50 kilos of dirty alley there. What's that? 20p a kilo or something stupid. Yeah, microwave oven. Lots of pots. Loads of aluminium pots. I'm not even going to bother taking them apart. I'm just, they're just going in as they are. I'll take the handles off, and uh, I'll just chuck them in like that. Hello, my precious. <laughs> right, uh, that was good times, really. I mean, it wasn't great, but you know, it's better than nothing. Got out, got some fresh air. So I'm going home tonight. I've got a video. I'll just run out of fuel. Uh, got a video to upload tonight. Tonight it is Thursday. So I'll get that done. Uh, give the vandal something to watch. Quite a long one, actually. But by the time you've seen this, you've already seen that. And a video that I've already got ready to go. So, uh, yeah. So that's it for this one, guys. Be cool. Try and be kind. And I'll see you all next time. I love yous. Peace. Look out, jogger. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm out of here. If I see anything else on the way back, I'll be sure to let you know. Towards. Well, hello and welcome. Welcome to another, it's a new day, it's a new dawn, it's a new life for me, Vandal Vlog video. And in this episode, it's uh, it's wet, it's raining. It hasn't stopped raining here for the last blinking week or so. But I've got a, uh, a somewhat full van of stuff that I need to get emptied. My bloody light on again. Flipping van. So I'm going to see the guy that I bought this van off later on today. I gave him a ring last night and said, look mate, you're gonna to have to help me get this blinking bonnet open. And he said, okay, no problem. You come over tomorrow, we'll help you out, yes. I was like, all right. So uh, I need to get that done and get this van sorted out. Uh, I need a new van, to be honest with you. I need a flatbed van. So I've been on eBay last night. I was looking at uh, a couple of VW crafters and that, but uh, I haven't got 10 grand. I haven't got 10 pounds. <laughs> so I'm gonna find somewhere to pull over, try and sort this van out a bit. I've got a bit of lead on board. I've got that dirty alloy on board. A bit of non-ferrous. So I might, uh, I might go and get that weighed in. Oh, if you can't see out my windscreen, don't worry, neither can I. It's, uh, it's as moist on the inside as it is on the outside. So, regarding the EMR scrapyard, obviously I got down there, I had a bit of a hissy fit because I'm a moron, and uh, I just left in a rage, basically. But, I'm gonna man up, and I'm gonna go back there. Because, uh, I need to buy a new truck. The van's great, but it's not its not working for me. I need a proper truck. And so I need to get some money together. I've got some, I've got some roofing work coming up, and later on today, I need to go and price another job. So I'm gonna slowly get back into the roofing a bit. Not the commercial stuff, just the domestic, private stuff. That's the sort of stuff I like doing. Quicks, ins and outs, you know, you can have a cup of tea with a customer and all that, good times. Uh, that's the sort of roofing that I enjoy. So I was offered a job recently for £175 a day, brand new van, fuel card, the whole jazz. But it was for a contract up in Warminster for the uh, for the army barracks. So I've done them before, I was in charge of them. So this guy, he wanted me to run the job, but he wanted me to look after four guys who've never done single ply roofing before. They're uh, fiberglass roofers. I've done a bit of that, but it's not my thing. So I turned it down. I don't need the stress and the hassle of going on site, hard hat and all that crap, masked up and gloved up, and social distancing on a blinking building site. So, uh, that's a no-no. But, I'm gonna get back into it. And let me know if you guys wanna see some of that. I'm gonna put it on there anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, that's it really. The aim of the, 
today is to get things tidied up, get some stuff weighed in, uh, do a bit of street scrapping and that, and uh, good times. But for now, I'm going to Greg's to get a coffee and a couple of chicken bakes. Because that's what really makes me happy first thing in the morning. So, towards. Right. Just been to Gregory's to get me breakfast. The blinking GoPro's playing around again. I'm gonna have to send this thing back. Nothing but problems with this camera now. It's doing my brain in. Is that even recording? Are you working now, are you? Cool. Just absolutely chucking it down. I need to get the back here and sort this out. This is bad. This is aluminium, but it's really, really dirty. And there's quite a bit of it. There's a good weight to it with all that crap on there. And there's loads. I've got a couple of ovens and the boiler. I'll put the boiler up front. My precious can ride up front with me. And there's a bunch of aluminium pots and pans and stuff in there as well. I need to get cleaned up. The joys. I need a yard. I need something. I need a truck. I need a yard. I need a, a garage. At this rate, I need my own blinking scrapyard. So I need to jump in the back here. Just trying to get this tidied up a bit. It's chuffing rain. I ain't got my windbreaker on either, so it might be a bit windy. Oh, all the good times in here, look. <laughs> I ain't got my torch either. Why am I light working? Oh, here you go. I fixed something. I've got, a, oh, I've got a rubbish to get rid of. <laughs> oh, I've got my lead down there. Is it worth going to scrapyard just to get rid of the uh, ferrous metal? That was broke already. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go to my normal scrapyard and I'm going to get rid of this scrap so I can actually get through this van. It's quite a bit of scrap in here to be fair. Yeah, I think we should go and do that, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's go and do that. Let's go and do that. So what did it weigh? What did it pay? So I took the lead in, I dropped the lead off. I know I said um, I said I was going to take it to EMR, but uh, the lead price ain't too bad here. It's £1,240 a tonne. I had 28 kilograms of lead. That was pretty cool. So I got £34.72 for the lead. Um, I asked him about the alley. He said, yeah, it goes on oh, the alley. You know, I knew it was going to, it's going to be dirty. I couldn't be bothered cleaning it up. It was most of the weight off it. I had 55 kilos of that irony alley. That was just from one little spot. Uh, 180 pound a tonne. That was only nine pound 90 for that. Not bad, it's not too bad. It paid for my fuel. Light iron, I was quite surprised I had 160 kilos at 110 pound a tonne, 17 pound 60, which gave me a final sum of 62 pounds and 22 pence. That was pretty much, that's all from yesterday. Yeah, I got the lead off my buddy. The irony alley was just down the road on the high street. And the light iron are those two ovens that I would add a little scoot around on the way back. So that went too bad, 62 bucks. I've still got some lead. I've still got the uh, boiler, obviously, my precious. Uh, there's a little bit of stainless in there. And I've got a chair for the allotment and a bunch of rubbish to get rid of. Oh, and some copper and some brass. Good times and a bunch bunch of cords and stuff. That's all right. I'm happy with that. 62 bucks. Good times. Good times. I was in there, I was having a chat with a couple of guys and they were saying, uh, ask me, you know, normal stuff, are you busy? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, nah. And then uh, he says, uh, I said, everyone and their sons are like, at it, aren't they? Because of the blinking flu. And uh, he goes, yeah, there's people driving around in their cars. I was like, yeah, I'll do that. I'll drive around in my car, I'll even go out on my bike. It made me wonder if they're watching my channel. Because <laughs> I've, got, I've got my jumper on, it's got Vandal Vlogs written on the front of it. It'd be cool if they are. I mean, if you are, guys, shout out to you. So, uh, yeah, that yard. So I used to go to that yard when I was, uh, when I was a young little, a little Vandal. I was about 11 or 12. Me and my buddy used to drive down there. We used to ride down there, should I say. And uh, just we just sit outside in that for hours, just watching the cars getting crushed up. 
it's kind of weird that here we are. I'm now nearly, uh, I'm 38 and a half years old, and uh, I'm going back to the same scrapyard. As the saying goes, your past doesn't define your future, but your past is definitely trying to tell you something about your future. It's kind of weird. I'm going back to the same scrapyard I used to go to when I was a kid to see the cars get crushed. The, uh, the first thing I ever smashed to bits was a VHS recorder at the end of our road when I was six years old. I used to walk up and down the road um, asking people if they wanted to buy spare parts for their TV and their VHS recorders. And uh, my neighbour Neville said, do you know what that is? He held up a transformer. And he goes, do you know what that is? I said, no. He said, that's a transformer. I said, no, it's not. It doesn't even turn into a car. <laughs> yeah. And when I was 10 and 11, I used to go around picking up cans. So, would I, uh, that's something I want to revisit again. Because your past doesn't define your future, but your past is definitely trying to tell you something about your future. Anyway, on that metaphor. Is it a metaphor? Is that a metaphor? I don't know. What is a metaphor? Well, I'm just making a ciggy. I am not smoking the ganja. I don't smoke the ganja during the day. That is for late at night, just before bedtime medicine, that is. Right. What time is it? Oh, big stacked. Nice. What's he doing now? Oh, that, that looks cool. Oh, yes. Oh, Canadian treasure hunter. Good times. She scraps. Good times. Oh, GD and Sons again. Welcome back, bro. Woo. What up, GD and Sons? Go and, so, bleh, bleh, bleh. Go and subscribe. He's really good. He's a really cool guy. I like this guy. I like this guy. He's going to do really well. I like his videos. He seems to be a professional as well. He's got the right truck and everything else. Go and check him out. Blicking it. He was up early. Fair play to you, bruv. Cruiser Mac, shout out to you. That's it. That's all I've got. That's your shout outs. How's the old channel doing? How many have I lost today? <laughs> Any time. I like doing this YouTube thing, but you know what lets you down? The technology. The technology really, really lets you down, doesn't it? All right, I'll give up. All right, I need to, I need to get rid of some of this rubbish. There's a lot of clap in there. I need to get that boiler stripped. Uh, I better move that rubbish because that's just going to go everywhere. I can see it now, it's just going to go everywhere. I'm glad I got the, ref the re reflexes of a cat. Oh, I'm a fox, I am half cat. So kind of makes sense. Um, fuel, engine oil, and coolant, is it? Yep. Yeah. So the van, when I get to see the guy, I've got the van off. there. Take that in. So I found this chair. That is my new allotment chair that is. Good times. Yeah. Rubbish. So good. I need to stir it that out. Let's get you laid down. The only good thing about a van is you can work in it when it's raining. I just need a bigger van. Either a bigger van or a flatbed truck. I really want a VW Crafter with a crew cab. I was looking on eBay last night and I went to bed just dreaming about one. I want a 2.5. There's a TV there. I want the yoke out of that bad boy. Leave no yokes behind. Well, let's go down into the territory, shall we? See what we can see. Do, 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 do. I got out late this morning. I was up really, I couldn't sleep last night. 
could not sleep at all. Don't know what's going on. There's nothing in there. All right, let's see if we can find something down here. Just past a steel barrel here on the road, just there. I'm knocking the door, see if I want to get rid of it. There's a guy there, is it? Spot the Hoover. <laughs> Ow. Microwave box. That Hoover got a cord in it? Oh my days. I think it actually has. <laughs> Go on, buddy. Did I just say the S word? Whoopsie. Oh yes. Good times. dude in the car if you waited like two seconds sorry if I just said the s-bomb there I'll have to uh, get Dave the editor to beep that one out well done to Dave he worked out how to use the beep <laughs> about time <laughs> cheers Dave Dave the editor is a joke thing by the way you know just oh is that what I think it is is that a uh, a Tesco's Dingle. It's crap in there. If it makes you happy, how could it be that bad? If it makes you happy, how could it be that bad? I'm in a good mood. I am in a great mood today. For someone who hasn't slept all night, I feel amazing. Oh, I've got a G-Man. <laughs> Damn. Right, so let's go down this way. Indicators? I don't need indicators. Let's go through here. Let's not have any scrappy races today, eh? I've uh, done that fridge yesterday. Oh, there's another copper vein at the back of it, though. Missed that, didn't I? Scrapper, is it? No, rubbish clearance. It's probably a guy who keeps dumping all his crap around. I'm trying to clean the streets up one street at a time. You've got these house clearance guys are going around them to absolutely wrecking it. Wait till I find those guys. Funny if I went out one night and caught them. I don't know what I'd do. I'd, uh, I'd probably stand there and say, guys, if you don't clean this crap up within three seconds, I'm going to beat the death out of you. Because <laughs> I'm trying to clean these streets up one street at a time. And these guys are going around just absolutely smashing the place up with all their crap. And it's not on. It's not on. Don't do that. Don't be, don't be like that. You know, don't do fly tipping and that. It's not worth it. But by the sounds of it, they got his number plate and all sorts now, so he's in big trouble. I mean, the cost of the license is nothing. The scrap license is £154 for three years. For three years, nothing. Nothing. Yet they're so tight, they can't even flip and pay for it. It's like, what the hell? I don't know if the house clearance one's the same license, is it? I presume it is. But £154 quid for three years. One of my senses just kicked in and it said, go down here. Let's see if my senses are any good. De -de 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 -de. If I'm 
my senses are letting me down here. <laughs> Damn them. Steering on this van. So it makes my arms stronger anyway. Do, do, do. Oh, I might have a little mooch behind this block here. I saw some bits and pieces. So I might just have a little be goosey gander quick. Is it this one? Can't remember. Let's have a look. Dips ready just in case someone wants to, uh, you know, get friendly. It's one of the memories. Not even a washing machine or a stair gate. Ooh. Oh, yes, where that? Brass there. Eh? A bit of weight to them and all. And a bit of cord. So my sensors were correct. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, that's alright. We've got some cords, we've got some brass, we've got a big drum. Let's do this. I'm enjoying this. I don't know why, but um, I've started to not care about the camera on my face. See how long that lasts. Shut. Get a pop bow. <laughs> well, I'm gonna have a little butchers down here. This is where that um, mobility scooter was. The thing is, I'm really shady about um, mobility scooters and kids stuff and stuff like that, you know? It's not the kind of stuff I wanna, I wanna mess with, to be honest with you. Especially kids stuff. Can you imagine taking a kid's bike or something? Break my heart, that would. We don't wanna do that. Still there. Oh, that's scrap, isn't it? That's definitely scrap. Definitely scrap.
without a doubt. Surely that goes light on it. Exactly, I'm getting that out. Trolley. <coughs> Trolley's a lifesaver. A bit annoyed, but a lifesaver. Nonetheless. Boom. Oh. oh yes, I got it. Down there, bloody golf drivers. <laughs> but that was good aid success. Can't get down that road, some women's parked the golf right in the middle of the road. She took the uh, the no fox given approach to uh, parking the car. I mean, you have to respect that, but at the same time, it's quite annoying when you need to get down there. We've got over here today, nothing. Do -do -do -do. Any good things up here? Nothing. Not even a washing machine. What the hell? Wow. It's kind of crazy. Byron Road. All right, at least scrap. You putting them up for scrap? Surely not. I'll go up, I'll come back down again. I'll say, yo, what up, human? Are those bikes for scrap? Because I'll take them. I'll take them right now. We've got up here, shiny, shiny. Sorry. 
What's this shiny metal stuff? Oh yes. Oh yes. Pre-packed, ready to go. Good times. Good times. No way that's stainless, is it? Yes, mate. Yeah. Oh, oh, give us, let me try this in. Turn this off quick. Oh, what up, vandals? So it's uh, it's a good half hour later. We got a full van. So I don't know what you guys saw. I, just, I pulled over to pick them bits up. And a guy came over and said, are you a scrapper? He's got some more stuff up there. He was sound, he was really cool. Really cool couple of guys, nice couple of ladies. And uh, I cleared his stuff away from him. Uh, he bought a box of Amazon and I've been there before, I've done that. It's, uh, it's not fun times. <laughs> and uh, he had uh, an elderly neighbor who needed some stuff going as well. So I've just picked all that up. That was a microwave, an exercise machine. Oh, it's rammed in there. He was a roofer as well. And, um, <coughs> Excuse me. He was a roofer as well, and he's going to uh, hook me up with some work and stuff. He's got some uh, some flat roofs he needs getting done. He was sound. I love meeting people like that. Stoners as well, and as you all know, I am one, and I do like a, uh, a stoner. So uh, they're really cool. All stoner lives matter. So uh, that's amazing. And his buddy, he's a nice guy as well. He's got a bunch of motorbike parts, bicycle parts, and scooter stuff that he wants to get rid of. So good times and uh, I'll give him my uh, my YouTube channel as well so he's uh, he's gonna check that out well I've had a great day oh I wish every day was like this it's nice to get out get some scrap chat to some really cool people and that do a bit of networking uh, he does tiling as well someone asked me about some tiling work the other day I think it was my buddy Eamon uh, I've got to do some roofing work for him as well, so it looks like I'm getting back into the roofing. <laughs> it's just a shame I sold all off. I sold off all my tools a couple of months ago. <laughs> oh, what a bell end! <laughs> oh, I didn't think I was going to get back into it, but uh, it looks like I am. So good times. I didn't catch his name, but he subscribed to the channel. So shout out to you guys. That was very cool of you to do that. I mean it. That was really really cool. He was sound. So now. Back to the scrapyard, because I've got a full van and uh, I need to get emptied. So, let's go get weighed and paid again, shall we? It's the scrapping man, yeah. I've just gone the wrong way. <laughs> it's the flatbed boys. By the way, if you are a flatbed boy, it's just a joke, okay? I'm, I'm just joking. I, I want a flatbed boy. I want to be a flatbed boy bad. Oh, it's all going on here. So yeah. Oh, that's great. So I've got, I've got three roofs coming up to do. 
I'm just doing 150 pound a day cash. They're supplying all the gear and everything else. So, uh, what is going on here? At the scrubby. I did go to uh, EMR, just came here because it's two minutes away. EMR is about a 20 minute drive, so, you know. Bicycles, we've got exercise machines, we've got an assortment of metal, scooters, blinking. We got all sorts of stuff going on. Cords. Right, they would have to be steel scooters, wouldn't they? to scrap out here. And keep going. I've got another pickup to do. Things are going crazy. It smashed the rear window.
What did it weigh? What did it pay? It was 200 kilograms, 110 pound a ton. I got 22 pounds. That was for 45 minutes work. <laughs> Good times. Right, I've got other stuff to go and get. And uh, what else is it? There's something else I was supposed to do. Can't remember. I'll, I'll think about it. Anyways, that's that one. Uh, let's go and get some more, shall we? So let's go and see if we can fill this bad boy up again. Uh, earlier on, I saw some bikes and stuff. Some guy was putting out some bikes. Uh, I want to go back there and see if they're out for scrap. Ugh. 